Okay, this is lab number five, Venturi flow. Here we will use an orifice plate and a Venturi to measure flow through a pipe. First thing you need to do is to turn on the power supplies for the pressure transducers and the pneumatic valve and also the Agilent 34972A digital multimeter and the computer. We will use the spreadsheet called Venturi Flow Agilent 34972A version 1.2. When it opens, make sure to enable the macros. The first thing we will do is take a measurement with our instrumentation with a zero flow condition. This is done by highlighting cell D11 and clicking on the Do One Scan Now button. Now we are ready to turn on the flow and collect data. So here we are looking at the flow circuit and we will take a look at all the control elements. There is an on-off valve that you want to turn to the on position. This will allow air to flow through the air filter into the pressure regulator and the pneumatic valve. The pneumatic valve is currently fully open, thus acting as another section of pipe. Then the flow control is done with a globe valve. Very slowly open this valve to start the flow. As you do this, flow is going through the pipe into the venturi shown here. The venturi tube has pressure taps along its length as you can see. These pressure taps are well manometers. As you turn on the flow initially, you must take real care that the level of fluid in manometer 4 does not go above the maximum flow marker shown here. Now you can see that there are a series of nine pressure taps or nine manometers recording the pressure in the venturi as the flow goes through. There is an orifice plate as well which will be used to calculate the mass flow rate of air flowing through the pipe. The U-tube manometer and corresponding pressure transducer are also connected to the orifice plate. Finally, the airflow exits through the muffler shown here.